Hello, my name is Mike Babb, and this is my YouTube channel, Living in the Illusion. Now, ha, last time we got together, uh, now you may have noticed that we have started on a little journey. It's not too well defined. Uh, except in my idea of looking at the first 200 or about 220 lessons in A Course in Miracles. And that section is supposed to turn around your thinking and your programming that is put in place in the egoic world or in the illusion. So, so we can get behind the illusion and see what's really there. So the last, the last lesson we got, the, now I'm really not counting, looking at them as numbers of lessons so much as uh, uh, statements or concepts. And the last one was you turn your thoughts into images. Your thoughts are seen on the on the inside. On the inside. You don't see them on the outside. You produce like little snippets of videos when you have a thought because you your experience is that uh, you your thoughts turn into images your eyes don't see nothing I use it nothing because it's unusual you don't see with your eyes. You see with your mind through your thoughts, which are within your uh, uh, belief system. So everything you think you think from within your belief system. And they turn out to be images because that's the only reference you have. Now just a short uh, description of what we talked about last week. And I'll put a, uh, a, a link to that video up there and you can take a look at it again if you'd like. Now this week, uh, we're going to talk about something that is related to that. And it's stated like this. Did you know your thoughts define what you see? That's why these two come together. And that's why the question, did you know your thoughts define what you see. So what you see is really dependent on what you're thinking. What you're thinking is determined by your belief system. Your belief system is made from past experiences. That's why you believe it. You have a lot of certain experiences and you say, well, this always happens. The sun always comes up in the morning. I got a lot of experience getting up in the morning. There's the sun. So you have a lot of experience that when certain things happen, the result is going to be whatever your belief is. And that is based upon your memories. 
so important. Memories are so important. And they're not real. But you believe they are. So that makes them kind of real for you and only for you. So uh, that's a, a little intro of what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be looking at, first of all, the I as a instrument. The I as an instrument. And what comes out of the eye, the back of the eye, where the optic nerve is, actually, if you look into the eye, uh, the doctors do this, look into the eye, you'll see in the middle uh, of the back of the eye, the optic nerve, where the optic nerve leaves. But when you're looking out, you don't see a, a spot there where the optic nerve is in the back of the eyeball. You wash over that with your thoughts, and uh, you create a whole picture. But you don't see where the optic nerve comes out of the back of the eye. But it's there to see. Uh, that's just a little anecdote. Uh, so we're going to have more fun today and think about different things. And, but before we leave and do that, I want to draw your attention to this little uh, flowers that we have here. These are roses, red roses. Now this video was supposed to take place two days, two and a half days ago, uh, but we lost electricity for a couple of days, and the flowers had to wait. And some of them you can't see too well, but because I put them in the back, I'll turn it around. Maybe you can see this one here. It kind of bent over because it's getting old. But the rest of them look pretty, pretty bright and shiny, and I hope you appreciate them. I, it doesn't match my shirt, but it comes close. So now we're going to, oh, by the way, I also want to point out, uh, I'll be going on vacation, so it'll be maybe 10 days before we get another uh, chance to get together uh, in a wonderful discussion like we're going to have today. So we look forward to seeing you in a moment. Well, we are back. And on my little board, I put our topic for today. Your thoughts define what you see. Your thoughts determine, a little stronger word, determine what you see. So it's not what the, uh, now here in my little diagram, uh, I hope you can see this. Here's the eyeball. Eyeball, right here. And so this looks at the back of the eye, this up here. And right in the center is the optic nerve, where the optic nerve comes out of the eye. And uh, you don't see that because you're so used to it. And uh, with a slight wiggle in the eyeball, uh, that disappears, and you don't even know it's there. But there is. There's a little place where the optic nerve comes out of the eye. And you're not picking up any information there. It's just there. Uh, so here's the optic nerve, and it goes way over here to the, uh, where the brain is because you've got three elements that work on it that we talked about before, the, the mind, the brain, the central nervous system. Okay? Anytime you say nerves and data, it has to do with the nervous system. Uh, and that's always connected to neurons. 
So the words all go together. Nerves and neurons, central nervous system, brain, mind, all of that. Now the eyeball itself, now I'm pointing this out because all your senses operate on the same principle. All your senses pick up different data than the eyeball does, but it handles it in a lot of the same way. So you're, uh, in the eyeball, particularly, we're talking about, it picks up light waves of energy between around 300 to 800, give or take some, nanometers, nanometers of vibration. And it converts that information into data. Electromagnetic chemical data. Uh, with the eye, uh, mainly electromagnetic. And it does throw images on the back of the eye. Uh, and if uh, even in high school you find out about the eye, the image that goes through this lens in the front turns it around, and if you're looking at a tree out here, it'll actually be upside down on the back of the eye. But it doesn't matter because the information is converted into data. So when you take a look at a tree, there's no tree going down this optic nerve. There's no tree here. There's no green there. There's no brown trunk there. It's all data. It's all data. Hard to understand because we say, well, I'm looking, I see a tree out there, and so my eye is seeing a tree. I ain't seeing a tree. Your eye is seeing wavelengths of energy reflected from the tree. Well, what about the green leaves? What about the, the, the bark? What about uh, everything else about the tree? You interpret it based upon the data, which has no color in it, has no color in the data. It's just like computer data plus or minus zeros and ones or something similar to that. But it's all data goes down here. So what, you now you got the data, what determines the color, the size, the type of leaves, the green, what determines that? Because it's not in here, it's not in the, there's no green going down the optic nerve. There's only data. How do you end up with a green tree? You interpret it that way. The data is meaningless in and of itself until you interpret it inside. And what do you use to make that interpretation? Your experience. Over and over and over and over and over again and again. Experience that you have had that you are now memories. So you have a belief system that this kind of tree that the data is in here, this kind of tree has this kind of leaf and this kind of color and this kind of bark. See, you are seeing with your mind, you are interpreting with your past. It has little to do with what's outside of you. As a matter of fact, you really do not know 
what the tree looks like in the outside energy system. You only know what the tree looks like from your interpretation in here based upon your past. Where's your past come from? It's all memories. It's all experiences that you've had since birth. And some of those memories are before birth. Those were your first memories in the womb. Now that's the foundation of your belief system. And it grows and grows and grows and changes. So let's see what else we can find out about this. Okay, now, do you get the idea that from the last video that your thoughts create images? Whatever you're thinking will create an image. Now that image can be a visual image, it can be a sound clip, it can be a smell, it can be so the image, based upon the data that you're given, the image is determined by what you, how you define it, by your thoughts. Your thoughts come from beliefs. Your beliefs come from memories. It's all interrelated. Uh, but in the illusion, it won't look that way. You think you see things out there with your eyes. You think you hear things out there with your ears. You're just gathering data. And it's not what's out there that is your world. It is how you determine it in here based upon your belief system. And your belief system has to do with your experiences because that's how your thoughts come. Your thoughts come from what you know. And you combine things. You combine past experiences of 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago with what is happening now. So all of that goes into creating what's going on in here. Now, if you have an experience at three years old, how accurate can that experience be? I bet you never thought about that. Bet you never thought about how accurate is your experience at three years old? Because all you know now at three years old is uh, downloads from your family of origin. So how accurate, complete, and whole is the experience that that child went through at three years old? And if they went through the same experience when they were 12 or 13, would they see the same thing? See the same thing because their thoughts had changed. Their, thought, their thoughts had become more sophisticated. Now think of the same experience at 30, 30 years old. If they had the experience at 30, would it be the same experience that they had at three? We create our world. And the world we create is not what's outside of us, as we have talked about before. We create our world inside. We take the outside data, the information, the energy, the coming together of things, 
which is energy. We convert it into data. It goes to our central processor and the mind that holds all of your, uh, all of your, the subconscious mind that holds all of your memories and with the help of the central nervous system which communicates all of this information, you create your world. Outside of you, as we have talked about in other videos, and I'll try to put a reference to them, is only energy. So if we were to look at, again, I'm going to draw a line. I won't draw through there, but make believe this is a straight line goes all the way down. This line segregates what's so outside. Oh, see, again, outside, we've done this so many times. Outside and what's inside. Outside energy, inside your world. This is why it's meaningful in here to you, but the outside is meaningless. And it happens so quick, it happens so quick that you believe what you're doing in here is actually outside of you. Isn't that funny? And isn't it amazing that in the illusion, it happens. That's what our world is. We created inside based on our thoughts and how they define how we're seeing, how we're tasting, how we're hearing, how we're feeling, how we're smelling. Has nothing to do with the outside. And yet, we think it does. Now, why am I, I and you notice how my voice kind of goes up and down because I get excited about this, but not everybody does. Everybody says, well, what do I care what's in there? Or well, the important thing is what's out here. Well, that's because they don't get it. Because what's out here is just energy. The world is in here. Why is that important to know? Because you can change this once you know it. If you believe your world is out here and you are seeing it with your senses, you can't change it. This is the outside world. But once you know that you're creating it inside, what a wonderful opportunity to begin to change this. Now you do, you do uh, take this information here, your world, and you do project it onto the outside energy system. We went through that a couple times too, and I'll see if I can reference some of that information. But we so fully believe that there is an outside world that we live in, that we miss the point in the illusion that we live from the inside out. And if you change, see out here, this is an effect. I know it's the end of my board, and it should have energy out here. But it is an effect. This is an effect out here of what you're doing in here. Now, why is that important? Because if you want to change your world, don't try to change the effect. All you're doing is manipulating little blocks out here, and it won't change. Why? Because your world's created in here. You want to change the effect out here, you got to change this in here. You won't change the data. 
You won't change the data. The data coming from the eye is just data. You're not going to change that. You change how you interpret the data. Now, in other videos, we put a filter in here. We put a filter. I don't know if I can draw make-believe. There's a filter in here. And the information comes in, and the information gets filtered by your past experiences, your memories. And so you get a different data out. You got data one going in and data two coming out. Data two is what you make your interpretation, create your world with. If you, if you want a different world out here, you've got to change data two. How do you do that? By changing your filter. Well, what's your filter? <laughs> You should be able to re remember that by now, because we mentioned it before. It is your memories in the subconscious mind. You change your memories. You say, well, you can't change the past. That's right, you can't. Your memories aren't the past. Your memories are your creation. So if you want a different effect out here, effect, that's what you're getting. An effect, that's what you think your life is. An effect, you've got to change the cause, which is your interpretation. So again, let's us take a look at what the Course says. It says a couple things. Uh, I already mentioned, uh, oh, oh, here. Here's one I kind of missed that I, I should have mentioned before. Uh, in the course, it says, it is impossible not to believe what you see. So when you do this magnificent thing and project it out here, you're going to believe it. It's impossible not to believe what you think you're seeing. But here's the kicker. It is equally impossible to see what you don't believe. It is equally impossible to see what you don't believe. Now, then I just told you this model and how you project this out here. If you don't believe that, you're not going to be able to change this and this is going to be pretty much the way it is out here. Your effect is going to be pretty much the way it is. Now, if you have a lovely day and you have a, it's a beautiful life and uh, everything is going your way, not a bit of problem. But if you have a problem, people that manifest, that talk about manifesting, they got a problem. Why they got a problem? Well, they want something they don't have. And so they think they're going to get it out here in the effect that will make them feel good in here. Won't happen. And a matter of fact, they will, they will work hard to manifest stuff, bring the data in, and this filter system won't change data too, because this is their belief system. And they'll say, why doesn't this work? I got a vision board, I got a, uh, I'm saying affirmations, I'm doing meditation, I'm doing exercise, whatever you're doing. That's because you don't realize it's the mind, brain, 
and central nervous system that's making your world. And why you may be able to override it for a short period of time, unless you change your filter, it'll go back the way it was. Doesn't have a choice. So that's, that is that one. Now, the other uh, wisdom of the Course, it says, I have no neutral thoughts. No neutral thoughts. It means every thought you think, there's a reaction. Some thoughts, some thoughts move you towards peace of mind, uh, uh, calmness, joy, happiness. Some thoughts drive you away from that into the illusion. But there are no neutral thoughts. They're either moving positively or they're moving negatively. And what do your thoughts do? Change the chemistry of your body. What does the chemistry do? Uh, oh, oh, I said that wrong. The thoughts change the chemistry in your central processor, your mind, your mind, brain, central nervous system. And then you project it out. So you change the thoughts here, uh, they produce chemistry, and the chemistry tells the body how to respond. If you have, if these thoughts that are based on your past are happy thoughts, pleasant thoughts, compassionate thoughts, you're going to have one world created in here. If your thoughts are uh, as a victim, or people pick on you, or life's against you, you're going to have another world in here, a different world. Anything between there, based upon your thoughts. So if you want to change your world, you got to change your thoughts, which are related to your belief system, which is caused by your memories of past experiences. Again, you don't see with your eyes. You don't see with the eyeball. The eyeball doesn't see things. It gives you data. And then you filter the data, and then you take the d meaningful data for you after it's filtered, and you create your world. Then you project the world out here. And you believe that the real world is out here and don't understand that you're creating it in here. That's why it's an illusion. Now, and it seems so matter of fact, well, my eyeball sees things. You don't even know this system is going on. You don't know it. It's going on below your conscious awareness. So your eyes, you think, see things. Your eyes don't see nothing. Oh, it seems so matter of fact and obvious in the egoic world that your eyes see things that to question that, and that's what I'm doing right now, questioning that uh, is just crazy talk. Oh no, I know what my eyes see. You have no idea what your eyes see. You know your interpretation of the data, but you don't know what your eyes see. You forget you're in an illusion. And that nothing is quite what you think it is. Oh, what a crazy world. But when you're in the illusion, you absolutely believe. Your eyes see, your ears hear, your touch, 
your hand feels, your taste buds caress what you're chewing, and you smell with your nose. All of those functions are interpretations in here of the particular data that each one of your senses sends to the mind, brain, and through the central nervous system. Now again, why is that important? You can change it and have the life you want. And that's why the present moment is so important. Because in the present moment, there is no time. Oh, we have much to talk about here in the illusion. So give that some thought, and we'll get back with you after my vacation next time to talk about all these exciting things in the illusion. Be good to yourself, and we look forward to seeing you next time we get together. Bye now.